Hey guys, Mario here from MTG Diagnosis, Dr. By Day, Magic the Gather by Night. And today we're opening up a sealed booster box. And in this episode, we're actually going to open up the whole box. So this is partially sealed. I guess it was ripped a little bit. And this was bought weeks ago, but life has been busy and haven't had a chance. And now Modern Horizons is out, which... Modern Horizons is a modern is for modern only, not standard legal. So I guess they're kind of curtailing to the um, non-competitive Magic players. So standards for more ma uh, competitive Magic players. Modern um, Horizons, modern play. Um, Commander. That's more like a tabletop or casual. So um, let's get started. So. <clears throat> Let's start. So there's six, seven, eight, nine. Nine over there. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine over here. And then Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine here. And then the last nine right here. So <clears throat> one, two, three, four. So, first stack, second, third, fourth. So, top to bottom. So, let's start opening packs. All right, guys. Let's put that over there. So, we'll put the... Commons in the box. So, here's our commons. Uncommons and a rare. Ooh, Karn's Bastion. Nice. That's a good land. And ooh, we got a foil. Gleaming Overseer. Nice over here and over here. So we'll put our uncommons. Actually, we'll just put them in stack there. Rare and foil. And then our mythics. It's actually, you can't see that. All right. So why don't we do this? We'll put the rares up here. All right, time to see that. Number two. So we're on commons and our rare is Tomic Distinguished Advocist. Advocist, flying two, three for two lands on the battlefield of land cards and graveyards can't be the target of spells or abilities your opponents control. Your opponents can't play land cards from their graveyards. <sighs> He's kind of underwhelming. I don't know what good he would be. All right, pack three. These are in comments, and our rare is Flibble Thip the Lost. So it's good. You'll go good with my uh, Mox Ambers. Living Twister is our rare. Eh, not that great. In our uncommons, Teo is our planeswalker. Let's see how fast I can open these packs. Too slow. Let's go here. And our rare is the Elder Spell. Nice. There you go. You can see that. Destroy target 
so many planeswalkers put two counters on a planeswalker of your choice and our planeswalker is hualti the sun heart sun's heart here's the other. Let's see here. Token. Bam. All right, we got Casualties of War. That's our rare. Basically, destroy a target artifact, creature, enchantment, land, and planeswalker for six. And there's our planeswalker, Tybalt. Here's our own commons and the rest of the other commons. Oops. Why are they upside down? Oh. Yeah, maybe that'll be my thing. Opening packs upside down. Yeah. Everybody has their thing. Open boosters does that whooshing sound. Whoosh, whoosh. So mine will be opening things upside down. Rare. Yeah. Narset's reversal. Copy target instant or sorcery spell, then return it to its owner's hand. You may choose new targets for the copy. Wow, so instant or sorcery, you get to copy it. This will be great with quasi duplicate. If we're doing like an all blue deck. And Sahili is our planeswalker. All right. We almost done one fourth of this pack with, with uh, one fourth of this box without a mythic. <clears throat> and our rare is Dread Horde Invasion. One black, one colorless at the beginning of your upkeep. You lose one life and you mass one whenever a zombie creature, zombie token you control has power six or greater. It gains life link until end of turn. And our commons are Narset, Prison Realm, and Gideon. So, so far this box is uh, underwhelming. And the last card on the top of this box. Parhelion 2 is our rare. Arlen, D-Spark. Commons. So. All right, so, no mythic so far. We're done with one fourth of the box. It's already been eight minutes, so gotta keep moving. Our commons, uncommons, and our rare is Oath of Kaya. Commons, uncommons, and a rare is Tamio, Collector of Tales. That's a good planeswalker. So uncommons. Ooh, Finale of Glory is our mythic. So, no, oh, we gotta. Oil. So this must be a finale box. Basically, the theory is all of the mythics in this box are finale. Ooh, Karn the Great Creator. Nice. That's another Karn. He is a good, rare planeswalker. Soren, Vengeful Bloodlord. He's a good planeswalker. Black, white, two colors. As long as it's your turn, creature to planeswalker you control have lifelink. Nice. Give your creature lifelink. Plus two, he deals one damage to target player or planeswalker. Minus X. Ooh, Tamina's Epiphany. And our rare is Blast Zone. 
which is a good land. They get a foil. And here's our uncommons. All right, so far we only got one mythic. Finale of Glory, which is probably one of the better finales. The black one is probably the best, honestly, than the white one. Ooh, Bolus' Citadel. Three black, three, uh, three black, three colors, legendary artifact. You may look at the top card of your library at any time. You may play the top card of your library. As you cast a spell this way, pay life instead of, ma uh, instead of mana cost. Uh, sacrifice 10 long land permanents. Each opponent loses 10 life. Oh, we made a mistake here. Let's see. All right. Getting towards the bottom of this second uh, quarter of the box. Come on. Still haven't opened a nickel bolus. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, oh and I uh, foil a uh, single combat rare. So, nice. And I was just saying, <laughs> haven't opened a sing single nickel bolus in... This is my fourth box, so. Legendary Planeswalker, three black, a red, and a blue. He has all loyalty abilities of all other Planeswalkers on the battlefield, including your opponents. Four loyalty, plus one, draw a card, minus three, destroy target creature, Planeswalker. Minus eight, each opponent who doesn't control a legendary creature or Planeswalker loses the game. So, love Nicol Bolas. Yeah. That's a nice foil, too. Even though it's a shitty card, it's, <laughs> excuse my language. Uh, any foil rares? Good. Oh, and Massacre Girls are rare. Not bad. Massacre Girl. Really good at playing against tokens all right so that's half the box so far oops half the box all these are commons these are uncommon so far half a box of uncommons Single, oh, a plane. Oh, all right, so we got the foil and the regular ones. Each player chooses a creature or planeswalker they control, then sacrifice the rest. Players can't cast creatures or planeswalker spells until the end of your next turn. It's actually a good commander card if you think about it. Commence the end game and bleeding edge is our foil. Commence the end game actually is better than it looks. Six mana though, but Ooh, Feather the Redeemer is our rare from this pack. Feather, I've opened up about three, or I don't, probably this is like my sixth or seventh one. Flying, whenever you cast an instant sorcery spell uh, that targets a creature, it returns to your hand at the end of the turn. Dread Malkin, Rebel Riders. Oh, Sarkhan the Masterless. I've gotten a lot of these guys. I, I like them though. Five to cast. Oh, 
Finale of Eternity. This is the other one I was looking for. So this is the best one. I think two black and X, and you can destroy up to three target creatures with toughness X or less. If X is 10 or more, return all creature cards from your graveyard to the battlefield. So you get to destroy three of your opponent's creatures, and if you if it's you know if you use 12 mana, if it's late late game, you get all of your creatures back. Nice. You could use it in the early game too, though. Evolution, Juliana, Obnixus, Bioessence, Hydra. So this guy is really good for Planeswalkers deck. Super friends. Ooh, finale of Devastation. Yep, there is. That's the third finale in this box. At least we got Bolus in this box, too. Oh, Jace. There he is. Nice. And Foil Spark Harvest. So, we got Jace. We got Karn, we got Mikobolus, we got three finales, where's the blue one? Nope, Planar, Plain Wide Celebration. It's not that great, I mean, it's good, this is good for sealed, you play draft. We're down to the last stack, so we have three out of the five finales. The green one, the white one, the black one, we need the blue and the red. Let's see, is this the... Nope, Deliver Unto Evil is our rare. It's our uncommons. There we go. Flipple Thip the Lost, we got another one. So that's two of those guys. And here is our planeswalker, rescuer sphinx. Oh, yeah. Prison realm. One, two, three, bam. What? Oh, widespread brutality is our rare. Living Twister, ugh, another one? Jeez. Teferi, there we go. So we did get all them all. We got Jace, we got Karn, we got Teferi. And Nicol Bolas. Vivian's Arcbow is our rare. Angrath is our Planeswalker. Last three packs. Blast Zone. Another Blast Zone. Nice. That's actually a good land. It can help turn the tide if you have a if your opponent has a bunch of uh, creatures at a certain cost. So if he has a bunch of three cost creatures, you can destroy them all. 
with the blast zone. Well, there's a bunch of... Well, you can't even kill tokens, though, because they're going... It comes in with a tar token on it. Command the Dread Horde is the rare, and Teo's Light Shield is our foil. Interplanar Beacon, nice. And our last pack, let's see, does this have a mythic in it? Maybe, maybe not. Ignite the Beacon, the worst rare. No, it's not the worst. I don't know what the worst would be. Nice. So all in all, not bad. At least I was happy with it. So let's see what we got here. So here's all of our rares and mythics. Here's our foils. So all of our foils except for our, oh yeah, there it is, our single combat is our best foil. And then second best would be Gleaming Overseer. And then if you look here, our, we have, let's see, put all, all of our Planeswalkers at the front. Here's our planeswalkers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven rare or mythic planeswalkers. So, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And talk to you guys next time.